Hi you, and welcome to Sims 3 Saturday. You know, I thought we'd visit with Leo again today. I just don't think it's fair to leave him alone in his bereaved state. Uh, although, you know, he wasn't being all that bereaved last time we met. He was doing a little something something with the girl that lives next door who's doing something something with the vampire she's living with. Now, it had occurred to me to um, take Leo here today and, and go visit next door. And he could flirt with his girlfriend and then the vampire's there and we catch him. And we could start this big werewolf vampire feud going on, fighting over the girl of their dreams. And maybe we'll wait. <laughs> Until he's got a couple people turned into werewolves. So with that in mind, I think I'm just going to take him downtown today um, and, you know, just do some visiting. You know what? Let's go to the park and see if anybody's at the park. Uh, visit the park. See if anybody's hanging around. Here. Oh, this is like my park. I forgot. <laughs> I thought, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, and there's the girl that lives in the house with... Um, the his his love interest at the moment so okay we could get this really all kinds of complicated okay there's Rachel that's his his little chicky poo there and they don't get along they just do not get along uh -huh. oh okay that's better that's better oh, she's hitting on her this one is Lilith Ann gets around. She she just she does that too. <laughs> Go ask her about her day. Oh, that sunshine's getting her all messed up. Oh, look at this. Okay, that looks like fun. We have to try. <laughs> My fish spawners worked. Check it out. We can go fishing. We have koi. I uh, don't know what the big guy is, but it looks cool. Look at this. Okay, I got a little crazy with the fish. I'm going to assume that the town feeds them because <laughs> it's kind of like a small pond for all of that. See, that's the problem with being a vampire. She's having a hard time being out in all this, um, all this bright oh, sunshine. <laughs> okay, talk. Uh, boast about gamer oh. skills. Oh, Jack yeah. Sure, let's do that because it's all like fun. <laughs> And, you know, we're going to do one little romantic thing here just to uh, keep things brewing nicely. Okay, we'll do a couple. And uh, let's go chat with this guy. Friendly introduction. This joke about shedding. You know, I think you should probably wait till you get to know somebody a little bit better before you just move in with that one. Hi, guy. Look at me. I've shed. <laughs> we'll wait on that. So what's this guy like? No, that is a potential werewolf, I'm thinking. Yeah. Friendly. Just, you know, let's just talk. Uh, give it a chat. Uh, get to know. With the special stuff under werewolf. Complain, joke about shedding. I don't know when you get options to turn somebody into a werewolf because... I've never played a werewolf. Uh, berate ignorance. Typical tech guy. <laughs> we can talk about comic books. Oh my god, he's a total nerd. Okay, this is kind of fun. I didn't know I had a nerd werewolf. That's brilliant. I like it. Loves the outdoors. Well, we're at the park. This guy's in a park. That could be a good thing. Um, get to know again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, he hasn't broke down and cried for minutes, so this is good. He's getting better, right? I got this mug a few years ago, <coughs> and I swallowed one. <coughs> from Essentia and Quill for Mother's Day. And it says, the best things in life are the people we love, the places we've been, and the memories we've made along the way. And they said they saw it. And it's like, me. It's my favorite mug. And I'm not paying attention, and he just like ran off. 
So, how come? Where did he go? Well, we have another guy. Let's go talk to this other guy. You know, maybe we got, um, who's this? Oh, come on, come on. Not that. What was, oh, I did pick friendly. Okay, who are you, dude? Lewis! Oh, the Sivrelay family. All right, let's check out Louie. Louie, Louie, Louie. Limzer. Well, we're going to talk about the stock market. Okay, that's that's interesting. Ask about career. See, he's got a... Oh, ask about his degree. There you go. I don't know if he has one. Congratulate on graduating. <laughs> You're not a dummy. Yay. Get to know... Well, they're both outside, so we'll enthuse about the outdoors. Rachel's over there having a bit of a splash. That's great. What time is it? Evening. Okay. He's a cute little werewolf, isn't he? Till he turns and he gets all gnarly looking. Special. Oh, charismatic. What? We can give him a compliment. Uh, on his business degree. Friendly. We'll talk about animals, just in case. Maybe he likes animals, you never know. And there, oh, Lady Jane Davenport. That is Tawny Davenport's mother-in-law. Oh, she likes kitties. And who's this guy? Maurice Sivrule. I'll have to go check with him too. See, the parks are great. People just wander through and they're not busy doing something else. And it works out really well. They're great places to meet people. And I like to, you know, if, if I want to throw a party or, you know, if you're, you've got a, a, a goal or a career goal or you need a promotion and you need a lot of extra friends, I like to hit the park. Just get to know people enough that they might be willing to come to your house. Like this guy, you know, he, that's pretty good. Um, she probably would come over now. This guy, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Hard to say. But um, <clears throat> once you've, you've reached a certain degree of friendship with them, then you could just invite all of them to your house at one time, have a party, and you'll get to know everybody really quick. Oh, look at this. Look at this. What have we got going on over here? People are hanging out. Who's the guy in the suit? He, Kaser, they use that name as a food merchant. Everybody's waiting in line, and uh, apparently he's not selling anything. He's too busy checking out the girl in the bikini. Because guys would ne Look, he is, too. <laughs> she says, I just want some food, dude. And he's going, uh... <laughs> That's good. That's really nice. Ooh, there's Tawny. Hmm. Oh, that's the paparazzi one. Let's go talk to Maurice. There you go. Now he's... Oh, he's still checking her out. <laughs> I love the Sims. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He says, well, I know I should be working, but she's in a bikini, dude. <laughs> Oh, you gotta love it. Ask about career. Gamer skills. I like it. So here really soon, one day this week, I'm going to start building the house that is, I think, next door to these guys. Or on this street, anyway. Um, that is going to have the... Um, I can't remember what it's called. Asim, As I can't remember what I call them. I think they're an Indian family. And he's the one who's the older guy who's going back to university, so we're going to play the university part of this game eventually. <laughs> um, and he wants to be like a blog superstar. That's his career goal. So that'll be less. That'll be fun. Special werewolf. I'm assuming that in here somewhere will be a an option to, um, to turn somebody at some point. <coughs> or do I do it here? No, I can see. I don't want to transform into one because I think that might put people off a little bit. <laughs> Just 
sand. So is he trying to order something to eat? And Kayser's finally going to finally serve somebody. Nice job. See, Kayser is the um, Kayser is the fellow that's doing the little something something with Rachel. So these two guys are sleeping with the same girl. That could prove to be all kinds of interesting. Okay, here's another paparazzi. See, I don't know if you want to be friends with these people. They just, you know, then they hang around the front of your house all the time. Have you seen them in here? They just hang out. I guess he's just waiting around for, okay, so what's this done? Has it gotten far enough that he might come to the house? Yeah, not really. So we'll wait till he eats and we'll chat with him some more. And then I think we should walk over and check out the gazebo that took so long. Yes, he's being sociable. He's eyeing you up for caninehood. <laughs> oh, he's getting tired. And I'm getting hungry. Or Leo's getting hungry. I just ate. I have to watch the time. I gotta get to work today. It's, this is the beginning of my work week, which has been condensed into four days, so I can take extra time off to make recordings for a YouTube channel. So the next four days are the hard ones for me. By Monday night, I'm just burnt, and then I sleep half the day Tuesday. So this is getting any better? Mm. Ooh, who's she? I don't know that one. I wonder when he met her. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> oh yeah, we're still getting the pictures taken. Nothing like a little stalker to spice up your life. Remind me to tell you that story someday. Friendly. Oh, apologize. I don't know what I said, but be nice. Chat. Uh, friendly. Get to know. Okay, it's going better. It's going better. Chat again. He liked that one. Okay. Uh, special. Charismatic. Pick up line. No, we're not going there just yet. Give you a compliment. That's cool. More. A trivia challenge. How cool am I? Oh yeah. Ghost story, horses, dogs, cats, study together. Aw. We're not ready to share secrets. By the way, <laughs> I want to turn you into a dog. Ah, funny. Let's just tell a funny story. And then, you know what? We'll head home. And then you can go home. And this was a productive evening. Actually, no, you can't. I'm lying to you. Well, we can check it out. We can let him go home. Yeah, that's going to be so pretty when they're up here doing their little dance thing. It's cool. Will it have been worth it? Yeah, you know what? I think so. When this is all ready, yeah, it'll be fine. Get it all planted and get some music happening. This could be a fun park. This will be the place in town where people hang out, you watch. So you need to go home and get some rest. Maybe we'll take up fishing. We could hang out here, fish, and meet people all at the same time. That's pretty cool. And this friendship is scary times. See, now the, he'll probably come to the house. She'll come to the house. He'll come to the house. Oh, that's right. That's the Essentia sister that's having the relationship with um, the vampire lady on the block there. I need more people in this village. I've got to get more people in this village. Someone had written to me and asked me to do, a, you know, like how to build a house like, or how to start a house like for a family if you actually wanted to play it. You know, the kind of choices to make. Uh, not to just use cheats and make, you know, a great big place, but something that will actually work. <clears throat> and I need more families, and I've had a few of you write and ask, you know, about certain kinds of families to make, 
and you know to name this one this or name this that and quite frankly I was going to be naming the families after all of you guys anyway so that works out all right so maybe uh, I don't know if you want to watch that part or not but I will do one family making one because someone wrote and asked me about that too so I'm I'm getting asked to create a family I'm getting asked to you know how would I build a beginner house um, like what kind of choices do you make so that you can do that without spending too much money and actually play the game um, so maybe I'll you know and I do need a lot more families so I, I will do another family one here very soon that will do double duty to get more people in this maybe I'll make it a big family just so I can have some population in here we need werewolves we need dating material we need some families to start happening we need children we need to populate this village and this is going to be a long project, can you tell? Because I want to redo the downtown, I want to change the buildings. This is so fun. This is how I play The Sims. I start a village and then I play it until the next expansion comes out. And by the end, they're kind of fun and very nice and I have generations of people. Although right now I have got the aging set on this so long and so slow that it's ridiculous. So I'm going to have to change that up. I just wanted to make sure my first group didn't die off while I was trying to populate the rest of the town. Because that would have been, you know, this guy dies while that one gets built and you don't actually get ahead of the curve here that way. So I'm going to end this for the moment. We got a little bit of, of you know, him out there doing his something, something. And um, I probably have time to maybe start building that, uh, that big family. Although I won't have time to finish it. But, hmm, I'm thinking. Well, I'll do something else so I can get an extra one up for you guys. Until I see you next time, you know what I'm going to ask you to do. Please remember to hit the like button if you liked some of this. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I will be playing some City tonight if anybody's interested in seeing some more of that. And my, my City is back. Oh, my God. So um, until I see you next time, live your life happy. Have an absolutely amazing day. It's spring or fall, wherever you are, and those are two awesome seasons. So have a great time. And choose to build your life beautiful. Bye-bye.